representing Malaysia, Farah and Binti. To the 21 year old Nicole David from Years Malaysia. Later, she collects another floor gold medal. Two that sees him claim the gold medal in front of his home fans. Congratulations, Adin. You've qualified for the SEA Games. How excited are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited because uh, I get to play the third SEA Games in my life. And it's quite a pleasure because this time uh, I'm, I'm a captain for the Malaysia squash. Yeah, so it's uh, quite a hard job. Is it more stressful now as team captain because you need to focus on playing and also be their cheerleader? I think uh, I'm a bit like... Uh, pressure because uh, the last SEA Games in KL, uh, I was only compete in the team event but unfortunately my team lost in the semis. I think we were a bit uh, uh, overconfident so we lost in the semis so but this time I'm, I'm as a captain so I need to like uh, forget about it the past SEA Games so I need to like focus like to encourage my teammate like not to do the same mistake again yeah I didn't you are 25 going to University of Malaya and pursuing a degree in sports science and you've got an intense training session for squash how do you balance the two uh, it's quite tough actually like uh, you study and you go full-time squash so but now my association they, they understand my uh, my career so they just they let me to train and studies but I, I need to manage my time so basically my my university course is only three and a half years but this is my six years in the university <laughs> so uh, they just told me that uh, take take your time as long as you can train like, every day then they will find for me how challenging is your training session like this year I'm training like quite intense like high high intensity because this year I got uh, this uh, MSN got uh, like put target on me like I need to be in the top 80 by end of this year and then I need to win a, at least a gold medal for the SEA Games so this year is is quite hard training and hard, hard time for me to train and to study as well even uh, because this year is my last semester as well so it's, it's quite a bit busy for me yeah, this year So how are you training for squash? My schedule is on when I start Monday till Saturday so basically like Monday I just train every morning and then evening I just go class so it's like I just I can train only like one day one session and then I'll do double session on the Friday and Saturday yeah and this week we, we need to do like double session Saturday morning and evening because we just finished camp for two three days so we didn't train that much so the coach asked us to train more on the weekend yeah what does a day in your life look like? Basically, this week and next week, we just need to play with each other to get a, a competition environment. Uh, so yeah, we just play like one-on-one uh, -on -one with the players, and then we just swap swap uh, partner so to get our mind in the competition match. Yeah. Who do you feel is your biggest competitor at the Sea Games? I think the best team in the Sea Games will be Singapore but Philippines is the host so if we play Philippines we get a pressure as well so I think uh, both of the team is uh, quite uh, competitive for me yeah now I didn't last SEA Games you personally won a bronze and as a team you brought home a gold medal of course uh, with this SEA Games gold is definitely expected how do you cope with the pressure now basically uh, before the SEA Games we, we go we go for the PSA tournament so I did this quite well in the, this recently tournament so I just uh, boost my confidence from this tournament to play the, the C game next week and then I just think one by one like I'm focusing on the individual first uh, that's my main target for now to get a goal for the team uh, individual and then I will follow on with the team event but I beat them in the previous tournament so I, I don't think I can I would think like I will confident enough to, p to play with them yeah How did you get into squash? Since uh, I start squash and when I'm 11, and then on the when I'm 13, I got a uh, get a invitation from Bukajali Sports Schools. So from the 13 onwards, uh, okay, I start to play plan my career. That okay, uh, is squash is my career. So I just continue uh, to go until I finish studies and to go to professional full time. Yeah. I didn't. Do you see yourself in the same league as Datuk Nicole David? So basically, like after this year, after I'm gonna finish, after I finish, finish study, I'm gonna try to full time for maybe a couple of years, and then my main target is to get in the Asian Games, 2022, 
and then I hope that by end of this year I get a top 80 in the world and then uh, after I finish studies I'll get to jump in the top 50 in the world uh, hopefully but it's get getting close to the Dato Nico and David yeah <laughs> so which squash player do you actually look up to to me I look for Azlan Iskandar he's a form, uh, former Malaysian number one and former number 10 in the world yeah He's inspired me a lot like uh, before he retire we did train together we bang he he encouraged me a lot to go full time to focus on my training and just he said to me that the most important thing is your discipline need to be high even though you are busy with work or study but you need to commit like 100% with your squash that's your career and that's your income as well <laughs> yeah this sea games is in the philippines um, are you worried about home ground advantage i think i feel a bit nervous because one thing is like the malaysian and the coaches expecting us to get a uh, four goals in squash but i don't i don't mind about the crowd because i love the i love like a lot of crowds i just Uh, kind of pressure for us because we need to bring as many as a goal as we can. What is Malaysia's target for the medals tally? How confident are you that you're going to hit the target? Uh, we target uh, 51 goals and then 70, I think 73 silver and 100 and 102 bronze, I think. Yeah. So Adin, finally, what is your message for your fans? I hope that you guys, even though it's far, uh, I hope that you guys, the Malaysian team, keep supporting us cheering us uh, from home watch us uh, when we play in TV and just pray for us that we get achieve our target and we get our everything is goal yeah